Hi, John again. Um, today is Wednesday, 3rd of August 2016. I'm just ringing Roger Hairawa. He's the trustee on the land blocks at Hiringa, um, Port Awanui. And I haven't spoken to him for a long time, but he lives across the road from our family farm up Whakangiangi Road on the corner of Tiaroa Road, East Cape. Uh, let's see. Um, I hope he's there. I'll have a little chat with him. Is that Roger? Roger? It's John Wanoa here in Auckland. Um, I'll try and ring you uh, tonight. Um, Denise said you were coming back from Gisborne yesterday. Uh, so I'm just having a land meeting in the Heringa blocks at Port Awanui. I'm going on to the Heringa A12 block. I'm taking the lease on, but I wanted to talk to you and um, we've got some things to do there. Um, so I've talked to, talk to uh, uh, Richard and uh, uh, Leslie Fisher. They seem to be happy with me and what I want to do there. Uh, hopefully I can get a project going somewhere nice and quiet there. And I wanted you to know about it. Um, it's on the agenda on my Facebook where people can see. Um, so I hope you got Facebook. You can go and have a look at what I'm doing there. It's all the maps and everything. And um, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Eh? Okay. Bye. Uh, my number is 027-281-3963. Or this number here on this phone if you can call me. Bye. Yeah, that's Roger Hairawa. He was coming out of hospital and going back home. <coughs> uh, so, uh, he might not be home yet. Uh, that was yesterday. Uh, his sister Denise said he was coming back. But, um, we'll see. I'll try and call later or he might call me. But it's very important on the hearing of blocks that he's uh, one of the old trustees there. Um, I want to talk with him. I think we get on quite well. He's up the Kokoponamu Valley on Dick Hidewa's land blocks and the farming up there. He's been there for years. Um, so um, um, he's in the Pepere family and the Hidewa's family up on those land blocks at Port Awanui. And so I'm pulling in uh, as much originality as I can to make this a solid um, agreement and for us to go ahead with our project on the Ranfilly Bank uh, with those people in the community there have the opportunity to come to the Marae, Te Horoa Marae on Saturday the 27th of August 2016 uh, where I'll be putting on a presentation for what we're doing there you can see the agenda online uh, on the Facebook site, just type John One Hour in Facebook. And those people who are watching this video on YouTube and Twitter, Google, and then you can just go straight on to Facebook, make a friend with me, and you can see all the plans and uh, that we have proposed for their heading A12 block. Uh, we're hoping to um, lease it uh, long term uh, with permanent. Um, um, status or absolute status with the landowners in mind and the community in mind. Um, 
Okay, so that's that's all I really wanted this video for was Roger and his input into the mana whenua of the land there and um, for him to know that we're doing something positive and um, that he would be able to see something in his time. Uh, he's the same age as my brother Willie. He's on the Arataha blocks, uh, A1 and A2, the same as me. Uh, as uh, owner in the land blocks, we're in 30 land blocks right around uh, from the east coast there to uh, Apotiki, Tikaha, Omayo, Wairo, um, um, there in Rotoria um, on the east, and Tikitiki, Maraihara, um, Rangitukia, uh, East Cape, um, Te Araroa, uh, and um, um, Takaniahi, uh, Maraihara up the back there. So that's all in the Portikirua area and Portaka, and um, Rawano is there, Portaka, Cape Runaway, and Blotton Point, Marakawa area, Midway, and Hicks Bay. We're in a lot of blocks of land and our name um, and the Marais and Mataru Wanua, my grandfather, and here in Port Awanui, my grandfather, with Ted Wanua marrying Doris Peachy, um, is um, brothers, both brothers, um, father Mataru Wanua uh, and Kaiho Wanua in, in Tiki Tiki. Uh, that's the other brother, and Matahare Wanoa in uh, Punaruku, that's the other place of the land blocks there, and also uh, in um, Marangaro, Aotele Marais, there was a Marangaro Marai there. Um, so we're stretched into a lot of area with our own surname and our Marai status. Uh, those marais have been maintained by Mataru Wano. Uh, he was the chief at that time um, that uh, kept the stronghold on 15 marais at least in that whole Portikirua Kiwaiapu area and including the Marangaro land blocks uh, from Puroera, um, East Cape, uh, and into the foreshore seabed right out. 500 miles out. I put a title right through the country in the foreshore and seabed uh, times. That's online, that's on my Facebook as well, as on our website, maipowerhouse.com. So a lot of history there to uh, Rapa Nui and Raya Te Island, um, um, Irina Wanoa, my cousin, um, <coughs> and uh, was a school teacher. She went to Raiate Island and that's where I got a lot of history from Rapa Nui um, because when the um, British went to Rapa Nui and, the, um, and took them off the island and kicked them back to Raiate Island so that's where they went. They didn't go anywhere else. They were from Raiate Island so they put the sheep on there, the same as here, put the sheep on the land, booted our people off uh, and evicted them off back to their homeland in Raiatea, Tapatapu Aitea Marae. Okay, so that's um, from Tapatapu Aitea Marae to uh, Waipu area uh, and that Marangaro, Marangaro land block. On our homestead land at Whakangiangi, uh, that's where the Māori is on our own family land block. 120 acres of Maoka there and the house is in disrepair so we have never had the money or trust or anything set up like that to get money off the crown we got nothing at all this is the first block of land that I'm doing for our own family in this system of the trustees took all the land and we got nothing from our shares they took the whole period of all these years and we've come up with nothing much out of it. So now I'm going to make it look stupid to put this project together as it should have been with this flag right back 182 years ago 
when it should have been flying with the British here as prominent with the natives but the Pakeas in the colonial court here and the government from Australia and New South Wales changed the whole lot around and put it where it is now confused, mixed up and all over the place in fraud and corruption. So that's what I just want to fill in this uh, video with something uh, other than talking to Roger, uh, my um, cousin up the road and their families. The Peaches and the Pipiris uh, are on that land block. Um, I think there's some others I'm, 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 I haven't counted um, who's there. I haven't had a good look who's in the area but those two names are certainly on those land blocks and in my family uh, apart from the highlands um, and um, the others um, there that went across the tiki tiki on our land blocks there uh, so you'll find our family um, is 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 all over those marais around the areas and including the Prodangi Marae on Waiamatatini, um, Waipu River side on this side, opposite the other side, the Marae's on the other side, uh, um, um, uh, Prodangi Marae, Tutirangi uh, Fiu, uh, the son of Kupakariora. Uh, okay, so that's still our family, but uh, I'm just saying I'll be comfortable to go in there and do something positive with that one land block and also the other. I'm hoping to get a lease on the land block where Richard and um, Leslie are, Fish, Fisher are, but uh, to keep it in with them and back into the Hapu because they're our family anyway, the Peaches and uh, my dad's brother. Okay, so we've got something in common to work together and with others, uh, Dick Colson and them, um, you know, they're, they're in the sea um, uh, area of marine uh, experience, um, so that's going to be a plus in that foreshore seabed um, titles and things, but it's still British um, driven uh, from Waitangi, the, the, the government of this country is run from there and that's where we are facing up against the government now from the hapu point of view of who we are really quite separate from the trust systems that they have set up we have our own trusts um, i have my own Fano trust the wani wano Fano trust um, so that's for my family to be there um, in the community uh, and they'll hopefully uh, take a hold of this as well um, once we set it up uh, that they'll have some interest in the area as well to continue this project um, with the tidal turbines in the sea. I've just put the video on before I'm going to put it online with the um, tidal turbines and the shear system that's online at the moment with the Moai King William the fourth trust shares commercial operations um, uh, from London and from here in Auckland in Oruhu and Waitangi with Kingi Taurua chief <coughs> and Deist Authority I'm talking about and at Port Awanui on that block getting a 12 block we'll have our main office there into the seabed tidal area um, proficient with seabed titles and international law on the sea under the flag, King uh, William, uh, on behalf of Napui chiefs on Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Fort, and also Titi Marae, and their uh, Taumata. I've been going there for years, and I just want to make uh, a clear point that my authority to act the way and talk the way I do with this flag belongs to Ngāpui and the chiefs at Kōrarareka, 1834, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag here and its Commercial Trading Bank of England authority to admit 
and staff our lens on behalf of the Hapu and the King of England, Britain, UK. King Ernest Augustus, the reigning monarch, sovereign, authority that I'm going under at the present time from Port Arwenui, East Cape. Okay, so that's the British whaling and sealing station that I'm talking about here on this map. I explained it earlier. Yeah. So you can see this is the part at Port Arwenui where I'll be on the heading up a 11 block with um, Richard and Leslie Fisher. I'll be working with them on this project with them on that land that they're already leasing. And the lease runs out next year. On March the 31st I'll take the lease up for them and they'll manage that land from then on in the Hapu's side. When I finish talking to Roger Haro, he's told me to talk to Roger He's my neighbour across the road, uh, Richard, if you're watching this video. Roger, I've grown up and went to school with him in Whakarangiangi. And <clears throat> I get on well with him all these years. And Chick Karaka, um, knowing what I've been doing all along planning this event. I took a long time and a lot of time to plan this historic event here on this prominent part of New Zealand little sealing village, whaling village and wharf will come to life straight to Britain straight to Britain with the authority from Waitangi and our own Hapu's authority to administer this land with the local people Pakehas and everybody Maoris or whatever they want to call themselves Call yourself a Maui, you'll be alright. Call yourself a Maori and you'll still be alright. <coughs> Call yourself anything else, you'll still be alright. As long as you're a member with the Maui, Powerhouse Group, London, and the UK, British government, and this flag, you'll be alright. Safest houses, and get on with everybody. So, um, Roger, uh, to you if you're watching this video and your family and the Pepperies and the Peaches in Port Arwenui in Rotoria and the East Coast for that matter I'll be going on Radio Nazi Pro uh, soon I'll be calling them up to advertise our hui at Te Horo Marae and I'll be quite excited excited to talk to Kaos Kamau about all those uh, topics on the agenda for any future hui with any one of those topics foreshore seabed, TPPA, fracking all of those things, those legal issues are my profession to do it and with the crowd and the barristers and the bar system and all the rest of it is just another topic Apart from the engineering and the mechanics of what we're doing and employment and uh, new technologies, fisheries, um, seabed research, protection, surveillance um, and monitoring of the seas, drones uh, going out and operating those and military operations and protection seabed titles and international law all of those matters are those topics that I'm talking about at the Hui briefly just a short overview of it in two hours flat before lunch uh, so uh, plenty of practice at that on marais and keeping the marae in order of the chairman uh, and keep to the subject keep order in the hui to make sure everybody gets a piece of it to take home. And the shares. The shares, how the shares work, it's quite simple really. A lot of people around the world are, are attracted
attracted to it because there's something in it for them and especially the indigenous people of the world this one's for you <coughs> all the world's land has people on it it has its controls some controls are obsolete and have no right to be there in the first place we're going to correct that this is a lot to do with that as well so I think that's all for now I'll just wait till Roger gets home I'll ring the radio station Ngati Pro and put the ad across for the hui and Radio Wat here in Auckland okay so once again uh, to Moira Hoffman in Rotorua she's our new um, executive uh, chair registrar for the Maui Powerhouse Group London uh, share site for filling the applications to join this world organisation 250 countries for free share for £25 equivalent to the British pound note the Maui King William IV pound note we're going to legalise it before long, if we have already enforced it in Waitangi Marae Kingsbury's Court on the 15th of March 2016, and now we're going to um, follow through with land and development and banknote um, use of this currency that we have the legal right of ownership to King Tafia's pound note and King William's gold coins. Ex Parliament, 1837, Westminster, Government, UK, Britain, UK, and us, the natives. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now. See you soon.